My name is Ratikon Vitikon. I design toys, games, and children's products. I graduated in industrial design and started my career as an educational toy designer. Several years ago, I had a chance to join a workshop with 20 designers, doctors, therapists from around the world, designing toys for disabled children in the UK. That was my first experience working with and for children with special needs. And that experience had totally changed my point of view. Because being a toy designer, you can do so many things for the children and for the society. And later on, it changed my life because I came back to Thailand, I quit my job. Then I moved to London to work as a play worker in a toy library. And I went to Japan, study about child welfare system there. And what I had seen and learned from these two countries made me understand the importance of the quality play. And I do believe that every child should have access to this quality play, no matter how rich or poor they are or how their body condition is. Then I returned to Thailand with new experiences and a lot of ideas. And I set up my own company, Club Creative, in order to both make my living and make my ideas become reality. It's the idea of designing quality, educational, and environmental friendly toys. And some years of hard work in, the company became more well known because we won many awards from around the world. But anyway, the dream about designing play things for people who need it no matter where and who they are, was always stuck in my mind. So I uh, travel, meeting with people around the world, designing toys for them. And this journey had totally, again, changed my point of view on Thailand. As you can see here, Thailand in the past and now, this fast growth leads to unstructured system, and it also creates a lot of problems like waste and consumption problems. Or even two years ago that we have big flood in Thailand, it became the bigger disaster because we didn't know how to deal with that situation. And there are so many groups of people are trying to solve the problem by their own way. Some do it by giving education. Some do it through campaigns or giving funds. But now many of them realize that to solve the problem, you have to go to the root of the problem, which is people. And the easiest way is to work with children because children are our future and we believe that they have the power to change the society for the better and it's our job to give them the right to call quality play and here's uh, my first game with a social responsibility concept recycling memo it's a mix between board and memory game that teaches children how to separate garbage and recycling. The next one is eco go game. Uh, by playing the game, the children will 
play under the global warming situation and they have to both compete and help each other in order to win and to save the world. We apply the concept of life cycle assessment that will help children to understand how to reduce resource and energy consumption. And we also apply the concept of uh, sufficiency economy or setakit kopiang into our games. We have the uh, simple one give and take for children from nine years old and the leader is the complicated one for teenagers over 12 years old. And what I want to talk more in detail is the sim democracy game. I think all of you are familiar with this situation because Thailand has been living with coups and demonstrations for many, many years. And we are the only country that has six prime ministers in five years. Till now, we are still fighting for democracy. But what is democracy? If everyone wants the same thing, why we are fighting? So we study that in the school in Thailand, most of the students learn democracy through books. But democracy is not just a simple concept. You cannot understand it by reading. It's a lifestyle. You have to experience it, and then you understand it. And that's why we came up with the idea of democracy simulation board game. By playing this game, the players will learn democracy through role play. They can be either citizens or the country leader. As a country leader, you have to plan, allocate, and manage the budget as the policy that you had already presented. And you also have to solve all the disputes and problems as promised. While other players playing as citizens, uh, what they have to do is to work, collect money. Of course, you have to pay tax, monitor the leader. And you also have the role that to help the leaders by uh, sharing ideas or money. And we use this sim democracy game everywhere, every province in, in Thailand to raise awareness on democracy and our role as a citizen. Now we don't limit our target on only high school students because from the training session, we found that it's so little that the students understand democracy and its concept and its process. And right now we use it with uh, the teachers and all, also election commission of Thailand staff or Kokoto also are playing with our game. And this year we have Sim Democracy in English version and we will use it in India, Bhutan, Malaysia, and other countries. Above uh, the example that I show you from this presentation, there are also more projects that my team and I are working on with different organizations because we want to make sure that every child will enjoy the new way of learning as we do in Thailand because we believe that children have the power to change the society for the better. And it's our job to give them the quality play. Thank you very much.